In this video I would like to talk a little bit about what happened to us after death. Um, there are of course various theories about that. Um, there's heaven, there's hell, there's purgatory, um, there's returning to the earth, going back to your own planet, um, there's reincarnation. Um, so in a way all of them are true even though they're very different. Uh, even the theory that in a way we return to the cosmos and return to nothing, this can be true. So what happens to us after death um, is not completely set in stone. There are actually a lot of possibilities. And let me go over them. So one of them, and this is in a way the most usual one, is reincarnation. Uh, reincarnation basically means that our spirit will go into the flesh again and again and again. So we spend some time being inside the flesh and we spend some time being outside of the flesh. And usually the periods we spend not being embodied are longer than the periods we spend being embodied. But um, yeah, there are a lot of variations. Some people reincarnate very quickly, other people take a long time. It was important to note that humans are not the only ones reincarnating. Animals also tend to reincarnate a lot. And um, it is also possible to swap. So a person can reincarnate as an animal and an animal can reincarnate as a human. There's no significant difference there. Um, what determines uh, reincarnation is basically the um, driving forces. If you are, in a way, uh, having unfulfilled drives which require a body to fulfill them, then these drives will push you towards reincarnating again. And these drives can be both higher and lower drives. So the lower drives are things like anger, uh, hatred, aggression, um, desire, lust, hunger. Uh, greed. Um, so they are almost inescapable. If you have these drives then you are very much forced into a body again because the only place where you can yeah, really manifest uh, these drives and experience these sensations are in the body. The spirit may also have uh, yeah, some kind of an anger or a passion but we get fueled by um, um, lots of hormones and um, associations. So the intensity of how we as human or incarnated beings feel is a lot stronger than how spirits can do that. So these lower drives pretty much leave no option. And then we've got kind of intermediate level drives. So intermediate level drives are in a way the um, uh, attachments we form, uh, the habits we form. So I might be come used to being in a certain place, like okay this is my home or this is my town or this is my family. Um, curiosity is also a drive. So these drives will also cause the person yeah, not to uh, leave to higher worlds but to stay attached because you want to see what is going on, what is happening in the world, or you want to stay close to your family or to your home or um, yeah, to the place where your family has always lived and where you have always lived. So they are attachments, but they do not force you into a body. You can experience all these things as a spirit. Then there are the higher drives. The higher drives are often more ambitions, uh, ambitions for, uh, for growth, for development, uh, possibly to reach enlightenment or to um, reach some higher station within the, within the cosmos. And these higher drives, they don't necessarily lead to reincarnation. They can lead to re reincarnation because you can learn these things while incarnated, but there's not a really uh, a necessity to have a body to yeah, develop these things. If you want to continue to grow spiritually, you can do that just fine without a body. 
So whether we reincarnate or not is often dependent upon these drives which we have in our spirit. Uh, the other options of indeed going to heaven, hell, purgatory, other planets, dissolving into the cosmos, dissolving into the earth, um, they're very much dependent upon the type of soul you have. So roughly there are four types of, uh, of soul. Um, most souls are, which are currently incarnated in human form, they're basically um, what are called luciferical souls. So they're um, the core of a luciferical uh, soul is having a desire to gather more light, to gather more knowledge, more power, more experience. So they are in a way collectors. And um, their desire to collect causes us causes them to yeah, take, in our case, a human form. Uh, so we can collect a lot of experiences and knowledge uh, and in by using the human form. So it's a very favorite uh, one for that type of, of soul. And these types of souls don't tend to incarnate into animals as much because you cannot accumulate as much as an animal as you can as a human. So often these beings will continue and will try to find a form which will allow them to keep on collecting things. Um, so often this leads them to, um, to reincarnate or to go to a place where there are better takings, which can be another planet, for instance. Then we have the second type of, uh, of soul, and, and these are called the satanic type of soul. So Lucifer is in a way the light bringer, so they're very much busy with gathering light, which is in a way knowledge, power, energies. And satanic beings are uh, basically derived from Satan, impure. So they have uh, a love or a consciousness, but it is impure, it is in a way um, polluted by lower elements, which causes us not to be a divine being, but a more earthbound being. So often the satanic beings have um, a, a consciousness of the things around them, but not so strongly of the higher world. So they are aware of the stones and the plants and the animals, and how everybody is doing, how the health is, how they are doing emotionally and psychologically, but they're not as inclined to have higher levels of knowledge or even to gather those kind of things or collect them to them. So they're more identifying with what is around them. So often these um, yeah, type of spirits reside in animals and plants, but sometimes also in humans. And if you have got um, a satanic type of soul, then it is very possible that you will, in a way, dissolve your in individuality into the collective and become part of the cosmos, or the satanic cosmos, or of the earth. And yeah, when the earth has a need of you, then you may be reborn, but there is no internal drive to be reborn or to go looking for something in particular. Um, they are often more inspired by the needs of others, the, yeah, requirement of things to continue. Um, so they often feel a calling to be born and in that life they often serve others or interact with others so that the whole cycle can continue. So then we have the spirits which um, identify with a specific task or position. Um, they basically have a kind of a mechanistic or hierarchical or bureaucratic view of the universe. Everything is yeah, going according to a, a plan or a design and they have a certain position or place within that design. And um, that design determines yeah, their position in life but also their position after death. So they tend to take on a very specific role or to either evolve into a different role or to continue with the same role they had in life. So for instance, if a person was a leader of a group of people and he was advising them and protecting them, then his spirit will continue doing that same thing after death. 
um, so often they identify also with groups which have a similar task or a similar role to play and they join these groups or yeah choirs or legions depending on how yeah you would call them or name them uh, so they are in a way part of a spirit group and they, in, they can be incarnated, but when they stop having an incarnation, they just return to the spirit group uh, they came from. Um, and uh, both for uh, this type of spirit and uh, the uh, luciferical type of spirit, there can be a process of, in a way, reward and punishment or purification which would correspond to, in a way, heaven, hell and purgatory. Um, because we are imperfect beings and we live in an imperfect world and we are bound to do things imperfectly. And um, if we do better than uh, is expected, then we usually get a promotion or we get uh, gifts. Um, we are bestowed more knowledge, more power, more responsibility and this can yeah, be associated with going to heaven, you ascend to a higher level. It can also be that we screwed up horribly and we are demoted. Certain powers are taken away from us because they're just too dangerous to yeah, be left in our irresponsible hands. And this decretion uh, of our being is yeah, seen as yeah, being tortured or being ripped apart and going to hell. Um, so these are kind of um, interpretations which people can have of what happens to them in the afterlife. And then there's also purgatory, which is a phase which, in a way, almost everybody goes through. Purgatory is a way of letting go, of really adapting to your new state, of erasing what you, sh yeah, in a way, shouldn't hang on to while moving on to your next incarnation or even just letting go of your previous incarnation. We'll go more into detail of that experience at a later point, but I want to discuss the last spirit, uh, soul type. The last soul type are the ones who are basically um, sent by a higher power to be here. So they're very much connected to uh, an angel or a spirit group or a deity or uh, some other greater power, uh, a master possibly, who will in a way ordain them to go down to the earth and do something. Um, and this is also very much a drive which can either be fulfilled in one lifetime, you go there, you fulfill your mission and it is done. But sometimes these people also have a drive which keeps them reincarnating again and again and again because their mission in a way is not finished and in a way some of these missions are almost never finished like uh, bring, making all conscious beings enlightened or uh, saving every living being on earth from um, their sins. So these drives can be very strong but often these drives also lead to a reconnection with the power which gave you your mission and to which you swore your allegiance and often there's an opportunity to uh, reassess your allegiances in between incarnations. So I hope this has clarified a little bit what the options are or the pos possible trajectories for your spirit after um, leaving the body.